In 1982, Professor Khuru joined the chair in the Department of Medicine and Gastroenterology at the Sherik Kashmir Institute of Medical Sciences, Srinagar, Kashmir, India. And very soon, he discovered the disease entity of hepatobiliary pancreatic ascariasis, a biliary disease so common in this community due to the extremely high prevalence of the intestinal helminth ascariasis lumbricoides. In fact, biliary ascariasis is one of the major health problems peculiar to Kashmiri community as the parasitic infection ascariasis is highly endemic in this region. International publications on this entity are a treat to read and a photographic representation of the biliary ascarid worm invasion is known to all practicing gastroenterologists of the world. His scintillating lectures on this entity, the death dance of the biliary demon, makes an audience in the world go frenzy and all engulf a deworming pill the next moment if they have ever visited Kashmir or India. Dr. Khuru has done extensive studies on biliary ascariasis and defined how the disease can be diagnosed by ultrasonography. This way, the disease recognition has reached the medical practitioner at the primary care and management and care of patients this disease has been simplified. In 1991, Professor Huru performed what had never been done in medicine before. For centuries, surgeons gave a dictum that hydatid cyst, that is a cyst caused by a worm in the liver, a very common disease in the state, that the puncture and aspiration should never be thought of or done, as it means anaphylaxis and death to the incumbent. Through an extensive and a very careful experimentation, he proved that the aspiration of the hydatid cyst can be performed safely and in fact is the ideal way to manage most of the hydatid cysts in the liver, now commonly known as the pear technique. His first few papers on this subject rose international interest in this form of hydatid cyst management and few years back more than 6,000 patients of hydatid cysts have been managed by this technique in southern Europe alone. In 1997, he completed this work by doing a randomized comparative trial between surgical and pair and published in the Bible of Medicine, New England Journal Medicine. Now the pair technique has become the preferred form of treatment of hepatic hydatid cysts worldwide and saved millions of patients with this parasitic infection from major surgical procedures. During the 13 years of stay at Skims, Professor Khuru did extensive studies on gastric acid studies in Kashmiris, the subject of his interest from his early days. With the introduction of proton pump inhibitors, that is omprazole, he, through gastric pH studies, proved that the stomach can be made anacidic if omprazole dose is raised to 80 megadose per day. For the next six years, he did an exhaustive clinical trial on the role of omprazole in clot stabilizing property of patients with recent peptic ulcer bleeding, commonly known as the black motion, a disease again very common in the state. And he proved in an excellent randomized trial that omprazole in this dose can prevent re-bleeding in this group of patients and in fact is life-saving in most of these patients. This work was so important that it found place in the Bible of Medicine. The impact of this work in the West was so strong that this paper was discussed in the journal clubs in every clinical unit in USA and Europe. The World Congress on Gastroenterology at Vienna invited Professor Khuru for a special presentation on this subject 
and the lecture was attended by over 7,000 delegates. Since then, proton pump inhibitors are the mainstay of medical treatment for peptic ulcer bleeding all over the world, saving millions of lives. He joined the chair in the Department of Medicine and Gastroenterology at the Shere Kashmir Institute of Medical Sciences, Srinagar, and over the next 13 years established a par excellent department in tertiary care with superb clinical, investigative, teaching and research facilities. Dr. Khuru has intense passion to impart par excellent medical care to his patients. He has maintained intense respect to his patients and their beliefs. He believes strongly in the Bill of Rights for his patients which include the right to dignity and respect, right to information, right for second opinion and has followed strictly this code of conduct. He has maintained high standard of ethics and discipline of exemplary nature. In 1995, Professor Kuru had to make a forced exile and was taken as the head and consultant of gastroenterology and liver transplant at the prestigious King Faisal Hospital and Research Center, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Professor Khuru is and possibly shall remain the only Indian trained physician to find a slot on the faculty of the institution. During the 10 years he spent as consultant gastroenterologist and hepatologist at the King Faisal Specialist Hospital, he helped to set up a program of liver transplantation in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. He worked and published extensively during these 10 years and found a special place in the institution, country and amongst his patients. Finally, his commitment to his soil brought him back to Kashmir in January 2005. On his return to Kashmir, he established a tertiary care digestive diseases center in Srinagar. Apart from excellent patient care, this center conducts extensive educational courses for the medical fraternity and for this runs a very active website www.drfuru.com The center continues to indulge in research programs related to hepatitis E, the hepatobiliary parasites and the upper GI cancer and is collaborating with national and international organizations. Dr. Khuru has maintained extraordinary qualities, difficult to be embodied in one human being. And these have made him a role model for many of those physicians who want to excel in their careers.